Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of exponential equations, we are going to solve one very interesting equation e power x plus x equal to 4. I will represent two methods of solving this problem. Let me begin with method number 1. I will take away x from both sides first. So I will write e power x equal to 4 minus x. Then I will multiply both sides by e raised to the power minus x. So let me write e power x times e power minus x equal to 4 minus x times e raised to the power minus x. Now I know the property of exponential a power x times a power y can be written as a power x plus y or x power a times x power b can be written as x power a plus b both are same base is same then we have to add up the exponents so here i will add x and minus x so it will give us 1 1 equal to 4 minus x e raised to the power minus x let me write in lhs 4 minus x e power minus x is equal to 1 now, I will multiply both sides by e raised to the power 4 times e raised to the power 4. Now, what is the advantage? Let me show you. 4 minus x, then I will club these two terms. So, I will get e raised to the power 4 minus x equal to e raised to the power 4. Okay. Now, you can see. 4 minus x is here and in power also it is 4 minus x. Now the turn of Lambert W function. If we are having one product of function x and e raised to the power x, after taking Lambert W both sides, we will get x as a result. Important is the exponential power should match with the coefficient. So here we are having the coefficient same as well as the power sign. So what I will consider, I will consider lambda w both sides. So what I will get 4 minus x by this property or you can say rule 4 minus x is equal to lambda w function of e raised to the power 4. So if you will calculate lambda w of e raised to the power 4 then this value is 2.92 6 2 okay let us find out x so x will be equal to 4 minus 2.9262 so x will come out 1.0738 i am writing 04 directly now question arises is this the only solution x equal to 1.074 is this the only solution? To answer this question, I am having graph. Okay. If consider left hand side is e power x, RHS is 4 minus x. Let me consider this function. So this is our LHS and this is our RHS. Let me write f dash x here. The derivative of left hand side e power x is e power x, and this derivative will be minus 1. Now we know that e power x is non-negative, non-zero value. It is always greater than zero. Minus one is already constant, which is negative. So conclusion is e raised to the power x means it is monotonic. Let me write monotonic increasing function. And because of f dash x is negative, so RHS will have monotonic decreasing function. Let me demonstrate through graph also. You can see in its domain this function is increasing which is our e raised to the power x curve monotonic increasing and with y intercept 4 this function is monotonic decreasing 4 minus x. So this graph is 4 minus x. This graph is e raised to the power x. You can see because of one function is increasing another is dipping down decreasing function so at most one solution is there at most one solution
this is our conclusion so that solution is already we have calculated which is let me write here 1.074 now method number 2 let me consider method number 2 okay so this method is i will solve this using newton ramson method newton ramson method what i will consider i will consider intermediate value theorem let me write fx is equal to e power x plus x minus 4 i will calculate f of 0 let me show you if i will calculate f dash x also then that value would be e power x plus 1 which is always positive means if i will draw this graph then function would be monotonic increasing only monotonic increasing only okay so f of 0 would be e power 0 plus 0 minus 4 which is minus 3 negative f of 1 e power 1 plus 1 minus 4 so that value is negative 0 0.2817 so let me write negative f of 2 e square plus 2 minus 4 if you will check this value this is coming out positive 5.38 so sign is positive because of we are having sign change so that is intermediate value theorem if we are getting sign change then that means there is one solution in between so let me write here there would be one solution in between 1 and 2. This is 1 and 2. Now I will use the general formula for Newton Ramson xn plus 1 equal to xn minus fxn divided by f dash xn. I am considering base value as 2. So if I will find out values, then I will be having, let me write x1 let me write 2 minus f of 2 over f dash of 2 okay if i will put the value then if this is 2 minus 5.38 we have already calculated divided by by putting its derivative x equal to 2 then 389 so this value is 1.357 similarly after next iteration we will get 1.102 Next iteration, the third one, I will get 1.07407. And last value we are having x4. After that, it would be stable. So that value is 1.0737. So this way also you can find out our solution. Single solution is possible. So this is the one real solution. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye for now. Till next video, good luck.